Hi Cupcakes, I've decided to do my Beltane Contemplations video now because Raven Nightsong came up with a really good idea for, I think she called it like an explosion of peace, but for an idea um, for us all to do something on May's Eve, something that's kind of like to promote peace in the community, and I like that idea, so I think I'm going to get involved with that. So I've decided to do my Beltane Contemplations now. Um, just a few things really that I wanted to say about Beltane. First of all, I wasn't always massively connected to the Fire Festival. I must admit, I'm kind of, um, I'm very much an autumn and winter girl, and I feel that my spirituality is at its most potent during the winter months. So a lot of the time, and growing up as well, I wasn't a huge fan of summer. I couldn't stand the heat. I found it very frustrating. And then as a teenager, I was like your archetypal goth, so <laughs> I really wasn't a fan, and, um, my skin is kind of a little bit temperamental as well because I have Irish and Scottish blood on my father's side and I have Mexican and Spanish on my mum's side so my skin never really knows, it never, it can't make up its mind. <laughs> so sometimes I get burned to a crisp and other times I just tan beautifully like an Arab so it's kind of a bit confusing. Um, so I've made my peace with Beltane now, I feel that I'm a much more balanced person now, I feel that I'm more balanced when it comes to the seasons and the elements and I can kind of see the beautiful part of all sides of the year. I feel like Beltane is, it, with it being the fire festival, I think of fire as the element of both creation and destruction. Because I read tarot, this is very much kind of ingrained in me, and I also am a fire sign. I'm not a huge fan of astrology and I don't majorly go into astrology with my practice, but um, I think it's quite poetically just that I am a fire sign. <laughs> I think anybody that knows me for longer than five minutes would say that it, it's probably quite appropriate whether astrology is considered to be an inexact science or not, that I am a fire sign. And I think for me fire is the element of both creation and destruction. So when I think fire and I think of everything that that element kind of um, in, encapsulates spiritually, I'm not just thinking about that creative, passionate, tenacious drive, the drive towards manifestation, the drive towards doing. I'm also thinking about destruction, I'm thinking about the way we need to sometimes clear the ground and make sure that our foundations are strong so that we can begin again and build something new. I'm thinking about the idea that something needs to be released in order for something else to be taken hold of or received. So often when it comes around the time of Beltane I start thinking about any emotional bridges that I need to burn anything that's still outstanding for me, anything that's needlessly weighing me down, basically. And I think about ways to have kind of like a funeral for fear of sorts, I think you'd say. So I really like that aspect of Beltane. And I also love the fact that I, I feel that I can let go of this stuff at a time when I'm actually really starting to feel the seeds of creativity um, shooting out of the earth and rising up into something so incredibly fiery and so incredibly impassioned. I think a lot of people feel that way when it gets to summer. It's the high energy season. It is the season of doing. It is the season of things becoming. Um, it's the season of things coming to bear. So I think it's really good to be able to let go of what's no longer serving you at the same time as you are being very proactive or very artistic, very creative. I see Beltane as the festival of the imagination and as the festival art of artistic expression quite often. So I think a lot about how we can uh, show our spiritual feelings through kind of like acting on something in the tangible realm. So singing, so dancing, making pictures, writing. I think about um, just expressing myself and allowing my artistic desires and my artistic drives to completely take over during Beltane. I think that's part of it and I think that's always something else that fire is meant to me. Certainly being a tarot reader I do believe that the suit of fire is often to do with artistic prowess and to do with honing your skills but also to do with just expressing what you feel inside in the outer world so that you can really communicate it clearly and kind of stand in your artistic power if you like. I also feel like uh, Beltane is obviously a huge time for celebration and spontaneity. When you think about um, festivals such as Yule, festivals such as Samhain, where it's all about inner work and it's about retreating into that darkness, retreating into um, the, the womb, if you like, retreating into the dark realms, thinking about shadow work, thinking about your own spiritual journey from a very person-centred place. Beltane is so much more about letting go and about living in the moment. It's about enjoying the physical realm. It's about enjoying the five senses and enjoying the earth and enjoying sensuality. I feel like Beltane has a huge feeling of spontaneity to it. It is really telling us that the time 
is now to live in the moment, to feel everything. It's kind of an eat, drink and be merry for tomorrow you may, may be dead kind of festival. And I really love that about Beltane. I think that Beltane and other festivals like it have its place just as much as those more shadow work orientated um, deeply kind of hibernated spirituality kind of festivals. So I think that's something that I needed to really embrace about myself through embracing the power of Beltane and appreciating really the true nature of the fire festival because I think often I am more about that uh, very contemplative, very introverted, solitary spiritual pathway and I'm not so much about the physical, I'm not so much about the five senses and I think sometimes that can create a sense of disconnection. I think there needs to be that balance there and that's why I think Beltane has such a, a bigger place in my heart than it ever did in the past and that means a lot to me. So yeah, I think it is about living for the moment and I think it's about having that funeral for fear, I suppose you could say. I also feel like Beltane is a time to reconnect if you feel out of touch, if you've been feeling out of touch with other people, if you haven't been able to speak your truth, if you haven't been able to be honest or assert yourself, if you feel out of sorts, if you feel that the social dynamics aren't correct and you feel that you really need to understand who you are and what you want and know that other people understand it too. I also think it's a time to reconnect if you've been kind of hibernating, if you've been putting yourself away in a box and not really wanting to connect with other people, not wanting to feel that interpersonal connection that sometimes can be so inspiring and sometimes can be exactly what you needed and didn't realise that you needed. So I think it's a time for sociability. It's a time to come back as well to the ties that bind and think really about the very strong relationships, the strong friendships, the strong family ties that have really kept you going and that have really served you and stood the test of time. I think it's a time to celebrate those connections, those connections that have kind of dealt with all of the creative and destructive undulating patterns that fire brings into our lives. If you think about the idea of endings and beginnings and cycles and the ups and downs, the chaos, if you like, of living, and then you consider who those people are that have stood by you through it and stuck with you through it? Who are those people that have really brought something to the table, that have really inspired you and given you something great? I think it's a time to celebrate those connections. And I also think that it's very much a time to reconnect with yourself as well. If you felt like you don't know where your strong inner core is or you don't know where your strong centre is from which you can create and from which you can stand in the seat of your power, if you feel like everything is very much out of your hands, if you feel weak and if you feel unable or if you feel like you don't really know what you want, I feel like that seed of passion that Beltane offers us can really allow us to get in touch with those things. I think it is a time to stand in the seat of your personal power and I know a lot of people talk about personal power and standing in it and you know owning it and whatever and I think sometimes for some people that's an abstract concept which is why I probably will go into talking about personal power on the channel. I'm planning a video for that very soon to kind of uh, demystify it and talk about it in less of an abstract way or less of a new age way and actually talk about practical ways of doing it, pragmatic advice for getting there. But I do feel like Beltane is a personal power festival, it's about finding your inner fire and fanning those flames, really stoking it and really knowing that it's going to give you what you want, it's going to warm you and it's going to really light your pathway up because Beltane is a festival of light you know we talk about Imolt being a festival of light being the the candle festival but if you think about everything that Beltane encompasses with it being the fire festival it is a festival of light and it is a festival of love and harmony and things being illuminated for you you having that incredibly intense elucidated understanding of what you want of what you need of what you expect what you deserve what your boundaries are what your desires are what your dreams are who you are at core level and I think Beltane does that for me often and I think you know that it really it really does that for other people as well and I also think Beltane's about being in touch with the earth if you've lost your connection to the earth if you've lost your connection to the physicality of the existence that you have now of everything that you can feel with your body you know, of feeling the rain on your face, um, appreciating how it feels to immerse yourself in a hot bath, or even appreciating pain and appreciating how that makes you alive and appreciating the overwhelming, it's like um, the overwhelming diversity, I suppose, of human experience, understanding that all of that can be appreciated and all of that can be loved. And just connecting really with Mother Gaia, I think, if you feel that there's been a disconnect there, if you feel that you need to plug yourself back in, Beltane is just the perfect time to do that. So I really feel that, that that's um, got a lot to do with what Beltane is to me. 
And I do feel it's the festival of truth. I think that there's something about fire that's very truthful, that's very raw, that's very bottom line. As I said, it is about, for me, fire is about destruction in order to create something um, rather than creation in order to destroy something. I think it comes from it comes from the very deep seed of needing to clear the earth and needing to get rid of everything that no longer serves so that you can build your strong foundations. And a big part of that is knowing your truth, understanding what your truth is and being able to say it, being able to put it forward. Beltane has, has given me many opportunities for clearing the land in order for me to go on and create what I truly want to create. And a big part of that is being strong enough to be honest about what you want and strong enough to say no and brave enough to say this is my truth and I'm going to have to stay with it because anything else that I said or you know professed to feel would be a lie. It really is the choice between truth and deceit and I think if you're trying to deceive yourself through convincing yourself that you want something just because other people want it or convincing yourself that you want your life to be this way just because it's what's expected of you then you're not only lying to yourself you're lying to those around you those people who profess to love you who profess to support and encourage you don't truly know who you are because you haven't been honest enough to stand up and say this isn't what I want anymore or this was never what I wanted or I'm scared of going this way because I feel that there is a there is an unlived life inside of me and it's that life that I wish to live, not this one. So I think fire, the fire festival and Beltane and that whole concept can be as much about illuminating the people in your life as to who you are and what you want that as it can be about, you know, illuminating your connection with the outside world and really getting back in touch with the earth and getting back in touch with what your spirituality means to you. I think it's also very important to trust Beltane's power to enable you to put yourself in touch with yourself and to understand that you can have the balls to say it how it is and you can use that deep fire from within to really push you forward and to really be able to stand your ground and kind of establish your boundaries and establish who you are when you are in that personal power that everybody innately owns but some people just need a little bit more help getting in touch with than others. So these are my Beltane contemplations. I, I'm really, really looking forward to it this year, honestly. I think that I have a few things that I need to do and think about. And I've already blogged about Beltane over on the blog. I'll link that below. And I also have a uh, Beltane Heart tarot reading as well that I'm doing on the shop. I will also link that below. So I'm really getting into the Beltane mood. And I think for a lot of people, incredibly so this year, the fire festival is much needed and the fire festival is going to do its work to really push us forward but also to ground us and ultimately to help us to love ourselves more. I think that's um, going to be a big part of what the fire festival is for a lot of people and that funeral of fear you know just letting go of what no longer serves it's time to do that because nothing can be grown um, and expect to reach the sun if there are still weeds lying around and debris lying around from before you know we need to clear that earth we need to get rid of what's preventing us we need to get rid of the obstacles so that we can really allow something to manifest the way that we want it to blessed be thank you so much for listening i hope you have a wonderful beltane Mwah.